We're putting the Starlink to the true test. Does it really work everywhere? and put that Starlink on the floor there to the test. You guys want to know where we're at? Where is this, Adrian? A rest stop in Alabama. A rest stop in Alabama. Yep, you heard me, folks. This is the length a YouTuber will go to upload a video. He will put the Starlink to the real test. Hey, we told you, we told you guys that we were really gonna try it out and we were gonna be on the road. So guess what? There it is. But where do you plug it in if you don't have... My truck has an outlet inside. Plugs right in there. You guys see it? And who is calling? It's my daughter. What do you think? How long do you think it's gonna take? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, you guys. You know we have a Facebook, an Instagram, and TikTok RV Life with Adrian Ruth. Check us out. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do, but turn your notifications to all because you don't want to miss a thing. We're just getting started, guys. This is an all-time record. How long, did, what did I say it was? Uh, it took like five minutes. Literally five minutes. When last night it kept coming in and out, in and out, in and out. So now, you can play a YouTube video, no problem. Wow, yeah, it's look online. at that. So we're good. Everything is clear. Less than 10 minutes, right? Less than 10 minutes. And we plugged it into our car. It doesn't get any better than that, folks. So to my fellow YouTubers, you guys, <laughs> this is everything. Like, as long as you don't have obstruction, which is kind of hard because I was telling Adrian yesterday, some camps, some resorts have a lot of trees. But we shall see. We're boondocking this weekend. And we'll see if the trees obstruct it. And we'll tell you exactly how much or how long it takes to set up there. So when you're a YouTuber, it's the day you have to release your video. This is the extremes you go to. You stop at a rest area and upload your video with this little doohingy right here, which is a Starlink. Guys, I wasn't kidding you. I was not kidding you. Hold on, I got to clean this. Hey guys, like I said, look, look, I was not joking when I told you that he is at finishing editing our next video with, with our modem right here, the Starlink. You gotta go out there and show him. No, we don't. There's the Starlink right there. Just working on the thumbnail now. We're getting ready to upload it in a few minutes. We're gonna let you know how long it takes. On my stopwatch, it says 49. It was going pretty fast, but I think because this big truck, I think uh, And then there's another one right down. there. Yeah, but it's pointing that way. So I think I think it's it's not blocking it, but it's hindering. It says uploading. Look. Right? Yep. So let me see if it shows up now. Because if it's just processing, then I can get back on the road. Let's see. Let's see. Processing video. docking and we are going to show you guys how it works here now it will probably be a challenge because look at all these trees but we shall see it doesn't want to go in it is maybe, annoying maybe it wasn't meant there it clicked oh, yeah, man. <laughs> technology means old school It shouldn't be that hard. There you no. go. I think it just bends a little. Yep. See. So it has this app when you hit visibility. Uh -huh. And you can actually like... And it's zooming in on its own. Mm-hmm. Look. Yeah, but 
Don't do it where the trees are. Yeah, where the trees are, it's going to tell you. It's going to tell you that, that, that it's obstructed. The 96. This is kind of what I got last time, too. Let's see how it moved. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it boots up and then it, it finds its satellite. Like, uh, yeah. And you'll see it'll, it'll just turn by itself. It's four minutes and 30 seconds. So then that's how long the camera's been going. So that means that that's been on the floor maybe three or four minutes. Now it says offline again. This is about what it did at the lake. I'm gonna have him try it again. Try to scan the skies with no trees. What if we scan it again? It shouldn't matter. That's just to look for you. To look. It does it. I guess it doesn't matter. See, you guys are learning with me. Oh, there it goes moving. There it goes. There it goes. It moved. There it goes. So we moved it see it was a little bit this way and we just moved it a slight little bit and as you can see basically it just took 15 minutes not bad at all as you can see that starlink um it works pretty good everywhere we used it there um it worked well i was able to do some work so now we'll show you the next spot so hasta la próxima. until the next time all right, so we're at home base. Now we're gonna try it out here. It's fairly easy to set up, like all except for one thing, correct? For one thing, I don't know if this is only ours. So the connector has to slide into here like this, but then it stops short. That's what happened when we originally set it up and we had no connection. So I don't think it should be this difficult to do. Like, seriously. So that's something that you'll have to reach out to the company. Yeah, it, it might be just a bad cord or something wrong with it, or maybe the dish, something's not aligned right in there. It worked before. So we shall see how long he gets it to work. Even though it says it's online, it still hasn't moved to where it's going to end up. It will move one more time. So we would have played YouTube. Literally, it's only been what? Within 15 minutes from when yeah. you started. All right, so it's online. Let's go to our last video and see if it loads up. So now, now look, here's the video, part one. All right, so now okay. Ruth is going to try hers. Experiencing interruptions. Yeah, but I got a feeling because it's pointing towards this yeah. tree. The next step, if this doesn't work, I'm putting it up there on the roof. I think maybe that's what you have to do. All right, this is doing the same thing as on the lake. To give you a like, honest review, trying it in different places, well, but this is why we wanted to do it here. All right, let's see if this works. Take my shoes off so I don't put marks all over my roof. If you guys never seen the top of my RV, I have uh, two panels. They're 250 watts and I believe 175 watts. They didn't have those, those are back orders, so I, I would wait forever to get it. We will get back with you um, inside and let you know how, how it goes. We're gonna try our Apple TV, we're gonna try multiple devices and see if uh, that affects anything. We are now in the RV, the dish is on the roof, and we are setting up the Apple TV. So, let's try Netflix. Let's just try the first thing we see. Sorry for all the glare. Not bad. All right, let's try maybe Try Prime, where's Prime? So it's loading. Sit. First thing, Blue's Clues. My grandkids used to watch this when we lived in Florida. Have you seen my dog, Blue? 
I'm looking at my connection. Oh man, today's an exciting day. We get to go on an adventure. It's been a while since we've been on an adventure. Work-wise, I think we're, we're fine. So far, everything's working great. The only thing I'm concerned with is the dish being on the roof of the RV. And we get some windy times up here in the mountains. So I'm just wondering, um, I know what I'm going to do. You guys will see. All right, back on the roof. Take the shoes off. Just so I don't damage my roof. So I'm worried about the wind. Like I said, I'm getting this thing and blowing it somewhere. So I'm gonna try to figure out a hack. A zip ties and something. I'm just not sure what yet. So let me think. So I zip tied it to the anchoring points of the solar panel, which I don't know if it's a great idea. That's underneath. That's underneath here. This is just until I get a uh, sandbag that I can place on top of here. I just don't want something too heavy is gonna penetrate through my roof. So it's working good. Like I said, it's got clean line of sight. So we're, we're good. How you doing? I think we're good. If the wind blows this way, we're fine. If it blows that way, we're fine. And here's another view of this great park. Check this out. A lot of people put decks. Um, that's our patio. All right, so take Starlink's a win. Let's see how it performs and we'll give you an update one of our next videos. So here we are week one after using Starlink satellite dish on the road. We are back in our home base in the mountains. After starting out putting it by the water, we have a small pond or a lake, whatever you want to call it. We did put it by the water. We realized that there were some trees obstructing it. It turns trying to get a signal and the way it was turning, it was being partially obstructed and it was going on and off. And that's what you guys were seeing. After a bumpy start, kind of like when we were at the lake and we initially got it started, we decided to put it on the roof. Worked much better. If you are going to be um, having a stationary where there are a lot of trees or if um, you might also want to invest, if you don't want to put it on your roof all the time wherever you go, you might want to invest in a pole. They do have for an additional cost a pole, um, a large pole that you can either put on top or on the side or somewhere um, where it's not being obstructed by trees. Once we put it up on the roof, as you can see, gravy, it worked amazing. We were able to turn all our TVs on, stream, we were able to, I was able to watch several movies last night, purposely for this video. I was able to connect all of our, my phone, my laptop, and my iPad at the same time. I was also able to upload a, a video tonight. We hit a milestone of 500 subscribers and um, we were able to upload that video with no problem. Are there some downfalls? Yes. The cost is one. That may be an issue for everyone. This is definitely not for everyone. For us, it's beneficial. Not only because we save a little bit of money, about $40, $50 a month on our monthly Wi-Fi, but we are also able to use it on the road. As you can see, we used it at a rest area. We used it mooch docking at our friends in Louisiana, and we used it back here in Georgia, which is nowhere near cellular wherever we, our original address where we got it. So... It is definitely up to you whether you can invest that money. Um, if you are a person who needs to have Wi-Fi all the time, then I would definitely say it's an you, you save in the long run because you don't have to worry about not being able to go um, do zooms or upload videos. So I would say there's better pros than cons. As far as one of the cons is snapping in we decided that we were going to keep it in for when we travel just lay it on our bed that was really one of the only problems 
the initially it took here a little while but once we got it up on the roof it worked amazing it goes and comes but it's minute and for such short amount of time that we never even really saw an, an interrupt in, in service so it's our review on this or our take on this is if you can spend the initial investment in it it's totally worth it if you're going to get use out of it if you're just someone who checks emails or maybe goes online or watches a couple of movies and maybe it's not for you for us it was totally worth the investment so that's our truth on starlink whether or not it's for you it's up to you so the other thing i want to show you i put the modem in here because i have this throughway that comes down for the water hose and here's the line for the old modem here's the line for the starlink here's my old modem which is a dsl that's plenty it gets me coverage throughout it gives me coverage throughout the whole rv no problem so here's uh the starlink modem this is a good spot it's safe and uh it's a good way to run the wires without having to put a hole in your rv